Hi, I'm Arata Jingu at the University of Tokyo. I will present RIP Notif use of RIPs as a non contact tactile notification interface based on ultrasonic tactile presentation. This paper is co authored with Takaaki Kamigaki, Masahiro Fujiwara, Yasushi Makino, and Hiroyuki Shinoda. This study explores the use of the lips as a tactile notification receiver using meteor ultrasonic haptic technology. The movie shows a man reading a book and holding it with his hands while listening to music. He is focusing his eyes and ears on other things and is unaware of a visitor. Ripnotic allows the user to receive information using only lips without sight, hearing, or hands. Ripnotic can convey directional and lack affective information. For example, with a strong stimulus to the right side of the lips, he can notice that an emergent visitor has arrived on the right side. The proposed method is based on meteor ultrasound haptics. This technology enables remote tactile presentation by controlling ultrasonic transducers to create ultrasonic focal points in the air. Tactile notifications can intuitively convey information such as directions or emotions to users by using various tactile patterns without using their ears or eyes. To date, many wearable tactile notification devices have been proposed. Most of them are wrist-worn devices. In addition to that, finger-worn and ear-worn notification devices have also been developed. Recently, some papers have reported non-contact tactile notification to perms using ultrasonic cues. Non-contact tactile notification can reduce the physical burden on users, which is one advantage of wearable tactile notification methods. Premier studies have focused on the perms as the main targets for non-contact tactile notification. However, when considering non-contact tactile presentation to the hands, there are two issues. The first is that the hands are constantly used for many other tasks in daily life, such as holding, grasping, and manipulating objects. The second is that the fingertips and perms, which are the most sensitive parts of the hands, are often facing or crossing inward, even if they are not doing anything, making it difficult to stimulate them from the outside. We focused on non-contact tactile notification to lips. They had high tactile sensitivity comparable to the perms. In addition, compared to the perms or fingertips, the lips are constantly exposed outward and less occupied in daily life. In terms of the balance between tactile sensitivity and occupancy, RIPs can be another effective place to receive non-contact tactile notification from the outside. Our previous work investigated basic tactile perception characteristics of RIPs in meteor ultrasound haptics. The lowest tactile thresholds were achieved as the very shaped area of the lips in terms of location. It would be due to the multiple reflection of ultrasonic waves in the body-shaped structure between the upper and lower lip. So, in this study, we formed an ultrasonic focal point as a body-shaped area. Let me explain how to determine the 3D coordinates of the point to be stimulated. First, we acquired the 2D coordinates of three main points of the lips by processing the 2D image with a facial landmark detector. Next, we obtained the 2D coordinates of division points by respectively dividing the straight line from the left commissure to the center and the straight line from the center to the right commissure into some equal parts. Finally, by combining them with the depth information from the depth sensor, we can calculate the 3D coordinates of each division point. From these point coordinates, we can select the point to be stimulated according to each purpose. In the first user study, we examined the feasibility of directional information notification with an ultrasonic tactile cue presentation on the lips. We defined the direction conveyed by the cue as the direction normal to the local rib plane where the cue was presented. In each experimental flow, we chose a target point and stimulated a division point facing towards the target point. 
Participants looked in the direction they thought was conveyed by the cue and selected a target point in the center of their vision. As the experimental result, the system could transmit directional information with an average accuracy of within plus minus 11.1 degrees in the 120 degrees horizontal range without prior mapping. Considering the human's field of view, this result means that the system could transmit the direction with sufficient accuracy. In the second user study, we investigated the effective effect of different ultrasonic haptic cues on the lips. As a result, stronger stimuli elicited more unpleasant and more excited emotion than weaker stimuli. Spatial temporal patterns showed no significant differences. Lip notice allows the user to receive information using only lips without sight, hearing, or hands. Also, it doesn't require users to wear or bring anything in advance. By combining directional and emotional cues, lip notice can open new and useful interactions, such as notifications during work, calling in the waiting room, and tactile feedback in automotive user interfaces. I've presented our new work, Lip Notif, which explores the use of the lips as a tactile notification receiver. Please check our paper for more details.